Welcome back to the XDS Custom Shop here in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm here with Eric. Say hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. Uh, we've got a uh, a very good board here. Very and, good. Um, this is for Keith Williams, <coughs> Five Watt World, and this is for some experiments that he's doing with EQ. And we also wanted to show off what that new True Tone supply uh, can do, and what it can do is power this board. <laughs> So uh, <laughs> it it does what it sets out to do. <laughs> yeah. So uh, thumbs up here. That works great. Yeah, I think the new one's uh, an improvement. Yeah. So let's for, uh, let's, for today's market. Yeah. You let's say, walk. Let's walk through this market. board and and see what's up. Let's let's take a trip. It's on a Remember mono. What's up? I do. It's on a mono board here because there's only one of them. Yep. Uh, unlike the fates. The fate of what, Dos Monos? It's a movie, right? <laughs> it's, it's Spanish for hand. So there's one hand here. There's a little interface box we put on here. There's an in. There's a dry out. There's a left out. There's a right out. And we'll mm. come back to those as we kind of go through. But like, just bear those ports in mind because you might say, "Take take your notes. Yeah, jot them down. Just leave room because we're going to explain." Post-it that notes later. are wonderful. Life keep changer. Them, keep them around. Uh, so in there, too, this EQ pedal, which has many presets, more than five. Many more. If you have MIDI. We don't have any MIDI, though, so there's only four. And then the manual one. But that's cool. And EQ in front of the drive stuff, so you can adjust what's going into the drive pedals. Yeah, and that's sort of that Gibbons-esque, make all my guitars sound like Pearly before they hit the rig. That, uh, yeah, that would be good thing. for live stuff. And an EQ in front, uh, somebody was in the other day and they, they said, I have an EQ pedal, I don't know where to put it. Should I put it in front of drives or after? And kind of a, a way to think about it is if it's in front of them, you can make your guitar sound like a different guitar. Mm -hmm. So imagine that. If it's afterwards, it's like the channel strip on a console. Yep. Tone press here, which uh, he said this was one of the first compressor pedals with a blend knob on them. Yeah, I remember because it was in a BB box. It was in a that much, was one of the first larger. pedals that I kind of lusted after was that full size yeah. tone press. They're pretty cool, but that's a nice sounding compressor. Mm -hmm. Out of there into this plus five. It's not, it's not, it's not that five, this. it's just plus. I mean, there's a five in there. Yes. But it's inside of a tube. That Because it's the five watt world. Yeah. Good pedal. I like that one a lot. And, and I think that's going to be a new one. Yeah, I think that's a new one. And this one I also really liked a lot. I think I personally like this one a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, but everyone else in the world would probably like this one more. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're both great. And I think Keith was saying this is sort of intended to push this one. So that's cool. Yeah, definitely lower gain, but sound wonderful together. Very cool. Out of this bus pedal into... HX Stomp, extra large. This is and where the funny business kind of starts. And this is where you really can take advantage of the routing possibilities mm -hmm. of this thing, which are powerful because you can split stuff off channels wherever you want. You can go things over here, take them to the left, up, down, below. So that's kind of cool. So in one of the loops, well, let me say it this way. Send one or send left goes out to this dry output. So you can take that block, put it in your chain, and pull out a dry from wherever you want mm -hmm. within here. I mean, it has to be after the drive pedals, but within this thing. Second send feeds chorus plus here, mono input, returns stereo back into here. So in here, wherever you want your stereo path to start, you can put this at the front of it. And then that dry out, it can be a wet out. It doesn't have to be dry, but that's the main plan for it. Yep. So that is pretty powerful stuff there. So this rig could do mono, dry, <laughs> wet, stereo, it or can, wet, could dry, do wet. Although I believe Keith is primarily just going to use it as either stereo, mono, or, or dry, wet. Never wet, yeah. dry, wet. You could take that right out and you could put it on a different path and you could put a pitch shifter on it and have 
You could have dry, wet base if you wanted to. Yeah. You can do anything in there. It's hard to beat the stomp stuff for flexibility. Yeah, sometimes for uh, utility players, with this is not for, but uh, the first thought is we'll just get something like this because you can plug several instruments into it. They mm -hmm. can each have their own preset or chain mm -hmm. within them. You've got all these separate outs. And because you got the IRs, you could load in different yeah. IRs for different instruments if, if it, you're <laughs> a multi-instrumentalist. Yeah. Sometimes I wish there was one of these that didn't have any effects in it and just had blocks for sins. We could move right. them all around. Yep. Which would be helpful for some things. Yep. But that's great. And then that's really it. Stereo out of there. Uh, this them. little steps, steps oh, yes. here. These little buttons here are the four and five on here. Well, they're not four and five. They're whatever number they are on these. And under here, the new True Tone CS11. 11. 11. There's a humdinger here to isolate that right side. And we just had one because he doesn't really ever plan on doing three outs. It's just two. Mm -hmm. So we really only have to isolate one other thing there. Yep. And that's really it there. Great setup. So these are, they drop the AC out, add some more 500s, another couple 250s. So we ganged up three for the HX. Yeah. And then are running the yeah. uh, all the other stuff off of it. And uh, it's been running great. We've had it here in the shop for a little while, heat soaking and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. uh, everything looks real good so far. Yeah. And we did uh, transformer delete mod on here. Oh yeah, that's right. We're still in there, and uh, but, we don't, but we don't use it. It anymore. runs on eighteen volts now, which the True Tone uh, is able to do. It's got switched eighteens on it now instead of the two dedicated ones. Yeah, which is a so that's pretty a, big improvement. Yeah, very cool. Well, Eric, thank you. A good Key, strong board here. Thank you as well. If you guys need something like this or something completely different, let us know. We'll talk to you then.